Hi, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Today I'm talking about how I make six thousand dollars a month as a college student. So, the first one you guys can tell is Uber Eats. Okay, I'm telling people out there, I have two sources of income. The first one is Uber Eats. I quit my job six months ago because I was making more money on Uber Eats than actually working nine to five. You really, if you, I'm telling people out there, you can make around hundred to two hundred dollars a day. Okay, that's you drive like forty five hours, maybe eight hours a day. You can make around two fifty if you drive more than eight hours. Okay, it's pretty easy not to worry about customers you don't have to worry about managers you basically your own boss you can leak but like, what i actually do i basically be in my car watch youtube video and wait for orders all you have to do bro ten people out there all you have to do is sit in your car drive or basically drive where it is like mcdonald's college junior wendy's all those like major fast food restaurants and just sit there and just press go right download the app press go you can get approved the same day okay you can get approved the same day go in there and sit there and press go and just wait Okay, you just wait and then you go you're gonna make a lot you're gonna make money, okay? That's the foolproof income on ten people out there. I make around eight to nine hundred dollars every week driving for um Uber Eats, okay? And most people do, do um Uber Eats and DoorDash and those people make around like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a week, okay? That's I'm I'm gonna say that that's the minimum. I'm for me I'm working around thirty hours minimum because I have school but and I have to do homework too at the same time. But I'm making around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. I used to work at Amazon Amazon there's no way I was making that, bro. Okay. I was making, I was working 40 hours plus overtime. I was making max was like $600, $700. Okay. That's working, working on Amazon. It's like, it was, it was not fun to work at. And now I'm able to make that without having to stress. Most of the time I'm not actually doing anything. Most of the time that I'm sitting there, I'm just waiting for orders, waiting for, uh, or go to the restaurants, just basically sit there for the order to get made. And that's all I have to do. Tell people out there, if you willing, you willing to do it, you can put in the work, bro. You're going to make a lot of money. Okay. And if you do Uber, most people are trying, trying to be excused. Oh, I don't, I don't have a car. Oh, I don't, I don't want to use my car. Okay, let me tell you, Uber has a, a partnership that you actually buy, but a lot of Teslas, right? And you guess how? But you can rent, you can rent a Tesla for a week for six hundred dollars. Okay, you can rent a Tesla for a week for six hundred dollars. You can actually do use that. You should make around fifteen hundred dollars using a Tesla. Okay, you, you're gonna do Uber. You can make around three fifty a day driving for Uber. Uber. Okay, that's the easy. But only, only like. You can do Uber and Uber Eats at the same time, okay? You can make around three fifty a a day. That's working like eight to eight eight hours, okay? And tell people out there, there's no excuse for you not to make money out there. But most people are just like making excuses and excuses. Like my friends, like, oh, I don't want to do it. All you have to, all you have to do, you have to be patient, okay? You have to be patient because sometimes there's some days where I don't, I don't make what I want to make. But sometimes like, and the next day I'll, 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 I'll probably make more. So. Even though like the money is like the money can be fluctuated, but my minimum when I make is like the lowest I probably made was like six hundred dollars. That's like that. That's when like it was pretty slow. Okay, it was, it was pretty slow. But my area is pretty busy. Where like like everybody's doing it. Like I I live in a city inside a city. Okay, I I live in I I'm surrounded by three cities at the same time. So I'm getting ordered like left and right. So tell people out there. Go download the Uber app. There's some people making my money on Uber Eats and DoorDash. The most people working nine to five. Okay. Dude, I'm not working nine to five. I make six thousand dollars a month. Okay, I make three thousand dollars from Uber Eats. Okay, that's that's one of my income out there. And then my other one, my other one's called Robinhood. I I trade stocks. Okay, I trade stocks. Some people out there, you have to learn how to invest your money because it's not about it's not about making money. You have to learn how to invest your money. That, that's that's like that's what's different between um being be like to like actually gain get wealth than actually not making more money. Okay, I I'll actually taught myself how to um. I should tell myself how to trade, okay? I think I was like 18 when I actually started trading, okay? I'm 23 years old. I'm, I'm in college right now for biochemistry engineering. It's not it's not, it's not, not that hard. It's not that easy. All you have to do, I'm saying, people, do not buy no curse, okay? Don't buy no curse. Don't buy no signal. Don't buy anything. All you have to do, is, instead of you paying $500 to someone to go teach you how, how to good, how to trade, YouTube is everything. I'm telling people, if you want to learn how to do anything, YouTube can teach you literally anything to do, okay? Basically, instead of you paying $500 to actually um, learn how to trade, you can use that $500 to actually start trading, okay? For me, for me, for me, I invest in stock and cryptos, and then I'm making like passive income with cryptos and um, stocks. And then secondly, too, I'm, I'm actually risking around four to $500 every single week, okay? And, and I'm actually um, investing in stock option. People know what stock option you basically bet is the price gonna go up or the price gonna go down. That's all you have to do. I'm telling people out there, all you have to do, do not read no charts. People are like, man, you have to read, like I, I saw a lot of like YouTube video about people like drawing pictures on a graph, be like, oh, it's going down, it's gonna put like nothing, it don't have nothing to do with it, okay? All you have to do if you have you have an iPhone or internet, all you have to do 
type in Tesla on Google, okay? And be like, and it actually tell you like what's actually happening, okay? For example, instead of you looking at the graph, be like, oh, it's going, it's going green, I should invest in it. But you don't know exactly what actually what's actually causing the, the stock to go up, okay? Well, for example, if I invest in a, in a stock, right? Or do a stock option. For example, I go to Apple and type in Apple. Is Apple releasing a new iPhone? Is it like, is it having, is it, is it having, are they met their earnings? Like figure out, just figure out the things that actually can motivate the price to go up or go down. Most people out here drawing pictures. It has nothing to do with you reading maps or reading graphs. All you have to do is to figure out is the, is, is the stocks actually doing anything. For example, this is the first mistake that I actually did, okay, when I started actually investing. So I invested in a pharmaceutical company, okay? I didn't read anything about it. I didn't read anything. I didn't actually go on Google and do any research. What I did was to be like, oh, it's going up. All I said was green. Oh, it's getting five dollars a day. Okay, I'm like, oh, it's pretty. It's doing pretty good. Okay, I went in. I went in. I put around like like five hundred dollars. Okay, that that I you know three to four hundred dollars in stock options. Okay, stock options is the fastest way to make money. So I put around six dollars in stock options. Never do no research. I was like, oh, the graph is green. Start doing like start following people on YouTube. I like, oh, it's gonna go up, but nothing happened. Okay. But I, I never knew that this pharmaceutical company was actually doing a trials. Like they were actually, um, um, they were actually, they were actually doing like a, a drug, a drug test where they actually see if the FDA is going to approve it. I didn't read anything about it. The next day after I did the stock option, I was like, like, guess what's going up? I didn't, I didn't actually pay attention, pay attention to it. Okay. Actually, um, 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 I woke up, right? I woke up. I woke up that day. Okay. I woke up that day. I figured out like, why is the price going down? Okay, I lost like twenty dollars the first hour of the stock market because I think dropped like ten dollars. Okay, and then you know stock option you only have a week for it to expire. Okay, and I was like, why did why did stock going up uh, going down? I didn't know. I was like, oh, it's gonna go up again. Guess what happened? Later on, after uh, I lose all of my money on that stock option, I I went online right, which I failed to do. I went online and typed in the, the pharmaceutical company. And guess what happened? The, um, the pharmaceutical company was was uh, was denied the FDA approval. Okay, so that's why people start selling. I didn't know anything about it. That's what that's why most people are investing in blinding out here. Okay, I'm investing around five to four to five hundred dollars every week on stock options. Okay, what I do is like I put my money. I I try I try to split that money into half. Okay, I don't put my money in one basket. Most people are like oh you should just put your money in one basket. For me, I like five hundred dollars. I split that into like ten ten. Like maybe like five different stocks, okay? I, I figure out like, oh, I'm going to put a call option on Tesla, okay? I'm like, oh, guess okay, so what happened? I'm going to put a t uh, call option on Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, um, Meta, and all those other other companies. I'm like, guess what happened? There's no way I'm going to lose five out of five. It's impossible. So I I'll, I'll, I'll make around four. So what I, when I put around four on $400. I can make around, like, think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna lose two out of those five options, okay? I don't, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna go zero on those, okay? But guess what happened? I invest other companies that are gonna go up. What happens? So most likely I make around, for me, I make around six to seven dollars every week, okay? That's me be, being very, very smart because I'm not taking risk out there, okay? I'm, I'm not taking out, I'm, I'm, I don't have, I, I have good money on Robinhood, but I don't wanna risk it on stock option. But that's why I put five dollars every week and I'm making around six to seven dollars returns. For uh, for Robin, I'm telling, telling, telling people out there, learn how to trade. Use that money. Did not buy no signal. Learn, use that money to actually learn how to trade. Trust me, you are gonna make a lot of money. So, if you guys actually learn anything from this YouTube channel, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll probably see you guys later. Peace out.